Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how we can create the form using the active. In the previous tutorial, we have seen a creating a form using template driven form concept where we have also implemented the different kind of validation on the text box and, and the radio buttons. So before proceeding further, if you have not subscribed to the channel, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And also if you have not followed me on the Instagram and Facebook, here is the link. Now let me see what kind of you know form we can create see in order to build the complex form structure where you have suppose different kind of HTML and lots of HTML controls are there so we'll always prefer to use the reactive form so there are three kind of libraries we need to use while we are implementing the reactive first one is form control form group and form builders so here as a definition of these three so we'll see practical obviously then it will be become more easy to understand so let me go to the we just do code and we'll create two text box one is for html and uh, sorry one is for the eml and one is for the uh, name so now i'm going to open the html file so here let me take the form and here i will take the simple div and inside this div i will add the two text box one is for name i will say text and name will say the name and that's it and we'll also disable the autocomplete okay and the same we'll use for the email copy and paste and this is for the email and now let me create one button input type submit value save so this is very uh, simple form right so let's start how we can you know integrate the reactive form first on the go to your module and using angular form just import the reactive form module this is the first work that we have to do we need to include the module in the module.ts file save it and close open the ts file and here we will import the angular form at the rate angular slash form and here will will in will will get the form control uh, form builder form builder and form group name so these three libraries will get from the form angular form and save it so now in order to create the form will will name this form using form group inside this bracket form group so let's name it register for an instance we have defined the name so just copy here and go back to your ts file so we'll say register is the instance of new form group and your bracket and then curly bracket inside this will define the properties which will use as a form group name so here in the html we need to integrate form control name so as we remember in the, in the template driven form we used to define the ng model but here we will define the form control name so suppose it is name itself and for the email we'll take the form control name will be email save it so here so on the ts file will take the same name this name and email name will be the uh, will be the form form group form control yes is become the new it is the instance of new form control and will will write same for email new form control and we'll define the blank value inside this and save it now 
if i run this application then what will happen i mean how will get the value from these text boxes so what will do will create one met one function which is click event of a button and will define the name save and will pass the form name inside this which is register so the same function we need to define inside the ts file and will define the because there is we have passed one parameter so the parameter will be any and let's console it console dot log form save it and save the html file now run this application and we'll see the result now here application compiled successfully so let me go to the browser and type local as 4200 so we'll see the these two text boxes and now we have console the value so let's see if i type and will able to get the values or not if i type something here as in first name as an email so let's type anything because we have not put any validation so we can type anything as a, as of now so let me click here so now it's console form group inside form group status is valid and see the value whatever we have type here so inside the value the name properties and email so see here whatever the dynamic name we will give here this all the property we can able to get from here inside this value right so this is very easy you know to uh, build the complex uh, complex uh, you know form because in the complex HTML, you need to define ng model everywhere and then you will take one object inside this object you will need to define the properties so this is very easy concept and you can also you know nested nested these kind of uh, uh, properties here so if i type like uh, form let me show you one thing i will say it's an uh, component file app.component.ts file if i put the debugger and save it so if i say form right dot value dot if i if i type email then i will get the value of email if i'll type the name i will get the able uh, name value right so using this we can able to get the data very easily so in this next uh, tutorial we will do the some validation work like email should be email box should accept the valid email and it should not be it should not be empty so this kind of validation we'll see in the next tutorial so thank you for watching this uh, video and if you are new to this uh, channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and also share the link with other others thank you so much